Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3D Now. My name is Jack and in this video, I'll be looking at 3D filaments, Flex Mark 9, and Fusion filament. So hopping right into the video, this is the first time I've gotten to check out a high-end Italian filament. So 3D filaments is from Italy and makes all kinds of really high-end exotic 3D printer filaments, including polypropylene, sand, clay, nylon, ABS, hips, PETG, TPE, bio, heat resistant, and much, much more. So I was very honored to check out some samples of their Flex Mark 9 TPU filament and some Fusion PLA filament. So starting out with the Fusion filament, this is a PLA filament, so it prints at around 70C on the bed and actually a higher temperature of 230C on, on, on the nozzle, which means it's also a little bit better heat resistant. And you can print this at a pretty high print speed of around 60 to 80 millimeters per second. And this prints pretty easily, just like any other PLA, and it finishes with a shiny surface. Also, this is a super strong material, and it's developed for longer prints. Also, this has a special formula that avoids nozzle jams, which is also helpful with printing long prints and super large objects. In addition, this is a PLA, so it's an odorless filament, and it also is low warping and super easy to print with. It sticks to the bed with painter's tape or glue on a glass bed. So this is about $33 for one kilogram in US dollars, or it depends on where you are in the world. Again, this is an Italian filament and it's super high quality. So moving on to the Flex Mark 9, they make Flex Mark 7, 8, and 9, depending on how much you want your filament to flex. Flex Mark 9 is the most stiff filament, but it's still pretty stretchy. And I'll compare it to Ninja Flex Cheetah filament. It's kind of the same stiffness. So the Flex Mark 9 has a short hardness of 93. The print temp is around 225 Celsius on the nozzle and 40 C on the bed. You can print this slower at around 35 millimeters per second, which is still pretty high for a flexible filament. Also, this is surprisingly easy to print with. I had zero nozzle jams. A good thing about this filament is that it's resistant to chemical agents. It's also wear proof and has a good elastic properties, so it'll stretch back to its original shape after you distort it. So this filament costs about $41 for half a kilogram in US dollars, but again, it depends on where you are in the world. So the first thing I printed with the Fusion filament is a toothpaste roller. This is more of a functional print, and again, this print came out perfect. The finish was a smooth black finish, and the plastic was super strong, didn't break when I tried to use it, and overall a great print. And the next print, like I usually do, is print some calibration steps with the Fusion filament. Also, this came out pretty well, and the finish again was a shiny black finish, which looks pretty cool. Moving on, I printed a little Ulti Maker robot, which was more of a small, high detail print. And again, this turned out pretty well. The next print was a Twisted Vase, which is what I usually print for, for filament reviews. And like the other prints I did, this turned out fantastic with that awesome shiny black finish. So moving on to the Flex Mark 9 flexible TPU filament, I printed a small gnome first with my CR10, and this turned out fantastic, super stretchy, high detail, and also a really, really crisp white color. Finally, I printed another thing with the Flex Mark 9, which was a phone case for my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, and this turned out great. The letters turned out crisp and clear. I printed this with no support, and the bridges turned out pretty well, and this fit my phone perfectly. So, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you're interested in 3D filaments, put a link in the description below. Subscribe for more videos like this. Comment down below, I'll answer every single question. Like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.